Hello everyone, Dickfig here and welcome. Today I have a workaround for this 100% CPU usage, the stuttering, the dropped frames, a lot of the stability issues with the game crashing and freezing for the Division 2. It took me the entire technical beta and yesterday the entire first day of the open beta to get this locked down and try and figure out how I could record at like 60 FPS but still enjoy the game and not have my CPU just peaked out. I was struggling to get 35 frames. It was really, really bad. And first, we're going to start off with this nice graphic here from Game Debate. These guys did an absolute awesome job figuring out all the weights for all the stats and all the options for the Division 2. And we're going to be messing with four things, really. The shadow quality, the resolution scale, volumetric fog, and then there's actual extra streaming distance. For them, extra streaming distance didn't make that huge of a deal, but for me, it is what causes most of the frame stuttering when I move. My uh, frames just tank walking through the city if I don't have that turned down. But we'll get into my settings in a second here. First, I want to let you guys know that I have a 6700K i7, and I have a 1080 GTX. So if you guys aren't running anything that powerful, you might have to turn down your graphics a little bit more. I th my i7 is also overclocked to 4.4 from 4. But for me, these settings made all the difference in the world. You can see now I'm stable at like 68 to 70 FPS, depending on the lighting, which allows me to record. So first, we're just going to jump right over here into the graphic settings, and we're going to start with shadow quality. I have mine set at high and that's good for me but you guys can turn that down as low as you need to messing with these four options the next second biggest thing in this game is resolution scale but i like my game to look clean and crisp and nice so i've actually been able to leave mine at 100 percent and still get over 70 fps usually but if you guys can't with my other settings cranked down then i would definitely uh turn this one down a little bit and the game will still look really good but the big one for me is volumetric fog. Turning this up to anything above medium just eats my FPS. And the game still looks pretty darn beautiful on medium. Hopefully, like I said, uh, Ubisoft and Massive fix some of the FPS issues and optimize the game a little bit more so we can start cranking more of these things up. But other than these four settings, everything I have is turned on to max, except for sharpening I keep at 7, because I've heard rumors that that helps with some of the stability issues, and it was the same way in the Division 1, so I just do it out of good practice. And now we're going to go all the way down here to extra streaming distance. If I turn this above 4 and walk, my game starts to freak out. Um, I'm not sure why. Could be that I don't have as much memory, or I don't know what's causing it. But for me, I set this to 4, and then I'm sitting here at about 77, 70 to 80 FPS. You know, no one wants to go back you up. I'm trying to record a video here. Agent in need of backup. So now that you have all those settings set, you have your FPS where you want it and getting better, there's still one more step. So if I walked around like this, running 70, 80, sometimes it drops down to 65 FPS, my CPU usage will still cap out at 100%. It'll drop frames. It'll stutter, and then sometimes the game will even crash. Just hard. It'll even lock up my whole PC, and I have to restart it. Like freaking early 2000s kind of PC crashes. Really bad. But the final thing you're going to want to do here is turn on your frame limit, and I set mine to 60. Depending on your PC, you might have to lower this a little, but this is how I'm able to run at a constant 60 FPS without peaking out my CPU, which gets rid of this frame stutter frame drops and it also gives me enough overhead room to record with OBS even though now I do that on a stream card but I did test it and it worked and now that you have all those settings set I hope your game runs a lot smoother I hope you crash a lot less I hope you can actually enjoy the open beta and at launch I hope for all those content creators out there that were really frustrated that they couldn't stream while playing this game because of that issue that this fixes you and I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. Feel free to check out the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Dig out.